Hey guys, Fred here. The following clips are from Elders Rising, episode 9, and hope you enjoy. We live in a great time. There's we got to be careful of the, the wickedness and be aware of it, but man, there's so much goodness that goes out. There's people being good all around us. It's easy to miss that. If you, if you live in Twitter, if you live on Facebook... You're not going to see the goodness that's around you in the world. Your neighbors that are doing good things for each other. Or, or the, you know, the simple little things. And so remember those things as well. The Lord, is, <clears throat> the Lord has saved the best for the last days, but he's also saved the worst. And then there's a whole bunch of people that are in the middle that have all this great potential. That just... We hope you wake up. Don't. <laughs> yeah. That's why, we're, that's why we're talking. So, good will always triumph over evil. We know who wins in the end. Be prepared. Love one another. Write your representatives. Importune. I love that word. I'm glad I learned it. I'm not glad you learned it. Yeah, you, you're sick of it already. <laughs> Importune. If you don't know what that is, read Doctrine and Covenants 101. I want to say, I don't remember the verses. It's in the latter half. It's like, it's towards the end. I love DNC. I've always loved DNC. But I'm going to go off on one last thing because this is almost, holy shit, it's almost yeah, two we're, hours. We're long. like two hours today. This is a long <laughs> one. This is good. Um, when you're studying your scriptures, pay particular attention to to all that they talk about with life, liberty, and property. And relate that to this and understand the importance of both. If you don't have a copy of the Constitution, if you don't have a pocket, Constitutions are great. They don't take up any space. They have everything that you need. The little paper ones are like a dollar. You can get an app on your phone that's free. You can get an app on your phone There's that's tons free. Of apps. Um, but oh. study them and realize the importance that, that these things have one with another. Oh, in my face. Maybe they'll pay more attention if they can't see me. <laughs> but when you're studying your scriptures, understand the importance and the relations to these two and that they are both inspired. And be careful... Be careful on both the Constitution and the Doctrine and Covenants in the Book of Mormon and the the Scriptures in general. Be careful that you learn learn and think for yourself and get the feeling of the Spirit. Learn as 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 the prophet has talked about learning how to hear him. Um, it's 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 tempting to always defer to someone else who's a who's a authority. And to uh, defer to like books that will help you study study guides and and interpretations and with both the Constitution and the the Scriptures, and those there's not there's 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 nothing bad with gaining other perspectives, but also know that that is also the perspective of man. You, the best the best thing for you is to listen to the Spirit. Study the Constitution with the idea that the men who wrote it were not only inspired but had just shaken off the chains and won their independence against the most powerful empire that the world had ever seen. Think about that when you're reading this, and you will understand their intent. It won't be a mystery. It's not as mysterious as a lot of people will have you believe. Study it. Teach your children about it, because... Children are the future. Children are the future. <clears throat> it's a song. <laughs> <laughs> Teach your children, raise your children to love and cherish freedom and liberty. The best way to teach them is to love it yourself and they will see that and value it. And and teach them as well. I'm not saying don't teach them, but but live what you teach. Don't be the type of do what I say, not what I do. That doesn't cut it. That's not good enough. 
live it. For example, I love George Washington. My children love George Washington and are all sorts of curious about him and, and ask me questions and stuff like that. And that's just a great example of, of what we're talking about. And I can't think of a better role model and person to have as a hero in that aspect than George Washington. The man who could have been a king but refused. This whole great experience rested on him. He was a chosen man. People have try, are trying to discredit him. But I do believe that the Lord, as he said, you know, handpicked these, these men for this time and raised them up unto this purpose. And he's doing the same thing now. Study the founders' lives. If you have time, I know all these things that we're telling you to study take time and they take effort. Hopefully we're helping with that. I think we just rant, rave. But, do study this, like I said, with the intent that the founders had. And study it like you would your scripture. Because it is that important. The scriptures, the Book of Mormon, D&C, are full of just... The references that you need that, that this was important that this was inspired by by God to be the land that he chose for the latter days we love you kind of we do we love you we want what's best for not just you but for your posterity. We hope that we bring you closer to to freedom and closer to God. We're not perfect. We're we're just a couple of idiots. But we retards. We, we <laughs> retards. <laughs> but we know what we're we, we know why we're doing this. We we don't doubt ourselves in that. We we've we've seen the the tender mercies that have have just poured out upon us because of these little things, and we're we're grateful for it. Go do good things. Go make good things. Be free. Amen. Episode nine. Again, thanks for watching Elders Rising, episode 9. Um, hey, buddy. If you like, subscribe and share. And have a great day. Rock the party, everybody. Regardless of what Mitch says, rock the party. <laughs>